Talk? Do I have to stop being polite and get really tough? All right. I'll talk. I tell you thanks to let me go. All right. Well? A cigarette might help. Agent, he can tell us everything we want to know. If you've killed him, I'll see you hang for it. Hello, Smith. Who's this wick? It's all right, Mr. Brady. Uh... Colonel Warren has permission to see you. Is that so? If it's not out of place, would you mind telling me whose permission? I don't remember anybody asking me. The Foreign Secretary phoned personally. Well, well, that's different, I guess. All right, Mr. Smith, I'll take it from here, thanks. Just as you wish, Colonel. So you're the invisible man, eh? How does it feel to be a state secret? Oh, it has its drawbacks. Pardon me for a moment. As a matter of fact, you've come at a very historic moment, Colonel Warren. Oh? I rather think the results of this experiment are going to take me several steps on the way to becoming visible again. No. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid from our point of view, that would be disastrous. All? Why? Maybe I'd better tell you who I am and why I'm here. I'm from military intelligence. Mr. Brady, we need your help in a matter vitally concerning the safety of this country. Oh, I see. But how can I be of help to you, Colonel? Have you ever been to Babesa? No, I don't know the Middle East. Babesa. Hmm. They've just had a revolution there, haven't they? Yes. And the new regime is far from friendly to us. That's too bad. I don't see how I can help you. You will. Listen, there's a strong resistance movement in Babes Sar, largely organized by our top undercover man in the Middle East, Jack Howard. Now, a couple of days ago, he was caught and badly shot up trying to escape. Officially, of course, they deny all knowledge of him. But we know that he's lying unconscious in a military hospital there. The secret police are only waiting till he comes to and then they'll torture him to get our codes, the names of the resistance leaders, in fact, everything. Mr. Brady, it's vital that we get him out of their hands before they can make him talk. Yes, I can see that. And only an invisible man can get into that hospital past those guards to reach him. But I thought I was supposed to be a top secret. Yes, but it's so vital to save Howard that I've got permission to use you. All right, Colonel. I'll be ready to start in the morning. Sorry, but the plane's waiting now. They're approaching the target. The pilot expects to see their signal any minute. Don't jump until I tap you on the shoulder. I'm in no hurry. Uh, when you land, don't forget to roll up that parachute and hide it. You're being met by a woman. Oh? Yes, but she's no ordinary woman. She's from the mountains. Cunning as a fox, one of our best people. Does she know I'm invisible? No. You better break it to her gently. And don't forget, she's the only one who must know about you. By the way, her name's Yolanda. Listen, Hassan. Can you hear anything? Yes. It's coming from the west. It is bad news, my lady. 
The goat herd sent a message by his daughter to say that there are many soldiers in the village. They come after dark by car and by truck. Fetch the lamp. It is an honor that you should have chosen my humble farm for the landing, but is it wise so near the city? It would be safer further out. Soldiers have set up many roadblocks. Speed is essential. We must get the Englishman out of hospital before he can talk. Oh, I know the Englishman. He, he won't betray us. No, but drugs can loosen his tongue. Please let it go. It is dangerous now. Look, Hassan! Please do not signal. We must take a chance. But this man they are dropping. How can he expect to get the Englishman out of the hospital when we have failed? You're fearless, my lady, but it is not wise to be too brave. Here we are. You know, I've never done this before. Oh, there's nothing to it. I may be invisible, but I bump just as hard. Good luck, Brady. I'll need it. Look, there it is. Parachute. I can see. Driver, forward. No. Don't hurry. They'll be friends to meet him. Let's wait. Let's take them all together. He's down. Keep good watch. I'll go and get him. Right forward. See what's in there. Does anybody inside get them out? Open the door. Come on, open up. Who is that? Who are you, Robert? Why are you come to wake up the honest man in the middle of the night? That's enough. Open the door. It's the police. Oh, oh I said police. Oh, one moment, good sir. One moment. Forgive me, I was sleeping. And you must have been sleeping the sleep of the dead. Didn't you hear an aircraft pass over? An aircraft? Yes, it shook the foundations of your house. Oh, oh, perhaps I did hear something in my sleep. Oh. Well, since you were sleeping, I suppose you won't have seen any strangers about, will you? Uh, strangers? Yes. No? No one at all? No, no one. Then this is your car? Oh, the car? Yes. Why then? What a wonderful farmer. Five acres of sand and stone, and he produces a car like that. Now, come on, tell the truth. Whose car is this? The car is mine. Will you come down here, please? Certainly. Corporal, search the house. Thank you. Who are you, and what are you doing here? 
I'm staying here with my uncle. And this is your uncle? My uncle, Hassan. She speaks the truth. Quiet, uncle. Put him in the truck. On this. An interesting piece of equipment. I wonder what your uncle Hassan uses this for. Take her inside. I know that you were sent here to meet a Western agent. Who was it? You have a pretty face. It would be a shame to mark it. Now speak up. Who sent you here? I want names. Pig! And now, the names. Quick, keep them covered. Keep your hand off your gun, Omar. I warn you not to move. Don't give me an excuse to shoot you. Keep them covered and get into the jeep. Away from that door, Omar. I'd be delighted to put a bullet through you. Move to your left, Yolanda. Who are you? The man you came to meet. We'll catch him in the car. You turned up just in time. Steady now, it's only me. But Take it easy there. I, I can't see you. That's right. I'm invisible. Invisible? Who are you? I'm Peter Brady. Your country has made remarkable progress in espionage, my friend. No sign of them yet. They'll be following us. You can put that gun away. You won't be seeing your officer friend again tonight. I fixed the truck and the car in the stable so they won't work. Oh, and while I was about it, there was a prisoner in the back of the truck. I turned him loose. That was Hassan. Good. Now, tell me more about Howard, the man in the hospital. Jack Howard? He built up our resistance force right through the country. He's a great organizer. Everyone loves and admires him. Without him, we are lost. We must get him away from the hospital. Hey, look! What's that up ahead? A roadblock. <laughs> Down on the floor. Here we go. Well, Mr. Brady, being invisible certainly has its uses. See those lights ahead? Yes, the town. It's time we dump this jeep. We can't go in till dawn. The gates are guarded. It's almost light now. I have a hideout in the town. We can make our plans there. This is a plan of the hospital. Since the Revolutionary Army took it over, there is only one entrance here. We must have him out before dark. We have a vital rendezvous to keep it sunset. It's Naseeb. He's our contact with the hospital, an ambulance driver. We can trust him. I'll keep quiet. He must know about me. You're laying down my mountain eagle. I see you were not long. I was fetching a patient when I got your message. I came here immediately. Ambulance, nurse, patient and all. Good. Now, tell me your business quickly. Because the nurse has an excessive sense of duty and is obstinate as a she-camel. We must get Howard out of hospital. This morning, if possible. This morning? You know, I'm ready to do anything for you. Anything. But to attempt that, it will be a shortcut to paradise. First, there are the guards at the gate, armed with automatic weapons. And then, 
There's that cursed vulture Jamal in the West Wing Corridor. Which is Howard's room? It's the one at the end of the West Wing Corridor. It's an awkward position. Everyone can see who goes in and who comes out. <coughs> the sheep come over. What is it, my beautiful one? Have you forgotten our patience? I will wait no longer. I am coming. I am coming, my treasure. She thinks I am visiting my sick father. What is this? Why do you ask all these questions when you know the answers already? Yes, yes, but I have to make sure. Oh. And uh, who will be with me? I will. You? By yourself? Yes. I know you are fearless, but not even you could do this. If I can get Howard to your ambulance, can you get us away from the hospital? Well, that I promise. But for you alone to get him to my ambulance. That is my worry. But first, I will need a nurse's uniform. You will enter the hospital as a nurse? Yes. Yes, my dove. I order you to come at once. In one little moment, moon of my desire. Come on, or I'll report you to the matron. But nurse, my father is sick. I beg you, come up and look at the old man. I will wait no longer. Nurse, I will not leave until you see him. Would you have him die? You said you wanted the nurse's uniform? Yes. Here it comes. Well, where is he? Right here, my angel of mercy. What is it? What do you want? Your clothes. Find something to tie her up with. Allowed in here, except the nurse in charge. Well, I wish they'd tell us these things. I came for the empty oxygen. Hurry up now, get out of here. I've got my orders. You'll get me into trouble. Colonel! Colonel Loma! Why have you brought me here like this? Because a very grave emergency has arisen. How long will it be before he becomes conscious? Soon, I think. He's very strong. Otherwise, he would not have survived all we've done to him. Howard. Howard. A British agent was dropped near the town just before dawn. He will have been sent to shoot Howard to make sure he doesn't talk. Now you make sure that nobody gets to him. Or I'll have you shot. Now wait outside. Doctor, this changes all our plans. Howard must be made to talk before this agent has a chance of getting to him. But this is no ordinary man. All his training has taught him not to talk. It's a kind of professional obsession. Even our strongest methods cannot loosen his tongue. I understand there's a surgical operation that can cure certain mental aberrations. Oh, yes, the frontal lobectomy. A minute but complete segment of the brain is removed. And with it go all the characteristics and impulses normally controlled by that segment. Arrogant, overbearing personalities can be changed to timidity, Minds obsessed with fears become confident. Yes. I understand that if one particular section is removed, all sense of responsibility can be made to disappear. Is that right? I have heard of such a case. Good. There will now be another. 
I don't understand. Well, it's perfectly simple. If Howard can be relieved of his sense of responsibility, he won't hesitate to tell us anything we ask. Are you suggesting that I do this? I'm not suggesting it. I'm ordering it. I refuse, I refuse! I should be making him an imbecile. Oh, that's no problem. Once he's told us what we want to know, he can be shot. You will operate at once. No. I think you will. You see, I took the precaution of arresting your wife just after you left home this morning. If you want to see her again, you will do as I tell you. Very well. They'll be calling for the patient any minute now. You go back inside. Don't leave him. Accompany him to the operating theatre. Yolanda. Brady? They're taking him to the operating theatre. Now we must stop them. Ah, ether. Now quick, find some cotton wool. Plenty of cotton wool. Bowl. A syringe. Ah, yes. That'll do fine. I told you, you must not come in here, nurse. I come to prepare him for the operation. Only the nurse in charge is allowed in here. I must do as I am told. Then you go and get the head nurse. No, I... But I must... I must obey my orders. Onto the stretcher. Now take his feet. Quick, lift him up. Easy. Good girl. Tell him send up Howard. Yes, sir. West Wing. I won't talk. I won't talk. Quiet now. He would come to now. Yes, I quite understand this. I will give the patient the injection and bring him to the operating theater right away. Well, swell you kicking, Mr. Howard. To the operating theater. How dare you touch my patient? But I was sent from A block. They told me to fetch you. You, a nurse, and you take my patient without telling me? I shall report you. What is your name? Report me, then. I'm only doing as I am told. You c Nurse, stop! You must bring the patient back. He has to have a pentothal injection. I have already given him one. It's outrageous! Yes, operating theatre. Yes, nurse. Yes, nurse. You say one of our nurses came to fetch him? But we send no nurse. What's that? What are you saying? Who came to fetch Howard? I see. So it's you. Well, this makes me very happy. Because if Howard doesn't talk this time, I shall make sure that you do. <laughs> But you can't lift him aboard. Do as I say. Get him in. Careful now. That does it. Okay.